I extend a warm welcome to all of you, or from one of our FII satellite hubs in New York, Paris, Beijing, and Mumbai. Every one of us has an important role to play in contributing to building this new world and impacting humanity positively and sustainably, to reimagine and to re-energize our global economy and reshape the future of humanity. COVID-19 has changed the world. And new opportunities for us to make our world more green, our planet safer, our community more sustainable. I said in my 2020 letter that climate change is investment risk and we're starting to see more and more evidence of that. I think there is a good chance that uh, Europe will actually do better than maybe people think right now. Then governments around the world, central banks, had to print a lot of money. Uh, today, financing and the cost of financing is something that uh, different companies and different countries are looking very closely at. Development financing is a very important. I think 2020 was uh, a confluence of a number of trends. Investment has become one of the world's most globally competitive sports to attract investment. His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Salman and of course PIF and uh, Khaled al Fali is the Minister of Investments for really transforming uh, Saudi Arabia into one of the most attractive and one of the most vibrant uh, investment destinations. Thank you, Turkey. It's wonderful to be back in the kingdom. Really the potential for augmented reality and what it could do. And I think with the focus on enterprise, we're off to a, a really good uh, restart. <laughs> In the Paris hub, COVID has transformed Thales. A hybrid approach between working from home and working from our sites. The catalyst of the pandemic has really triggered a profound reactions to the way we do business. The energy ministry is energized by the energy of the youth. This pandemic has been the biggest disruptive development in modern times. You need a vision and you need execution capability. The fundamentals in business in commodity energy is a cost. Now will enable a more sustainable and inclusive world for future generations. Let's talk about the future of sports. The day they were going to do Dakar, they stopped all the flights into Saudi. That's why Formula E will start the season here in Daraya. Nothing is impossible here, trust nothing is impossible. So I tell them, just remember your dream. Remember what you want. Remember why you started uh, uh, doing what you're doing. Technology is going to produce a much higher quality of life and many more opportunities than this group can even anticipate at this point. In Saudi Arabia, we benefit in discovery, we benefit in recovery, we benefit in cost optimization. How we do business, how our budget is managed, how our expenditure is, uh, is uh, paid. Congratulations to his Crown Prince for having the boldness to form this forum today for all of us to have this dialogue and, and for Yasser to direct it. Your Highness, thank you so much and uh, welcome. Shukran Dawra al Rais, and I'm very happy to be here with you. I'm very happy to be here with you. مشاريع طموحة في مدينة نيوم وصفنا نقدم في القريب العاجل تفاصيل استراتيجية مشاريع مدينة الرياض واستراتيجية الرياض أيضا صفنا نقدم باقي استراتيجية مناطق المملكة وبعض مدن المملكة لسوف تكون طموحة وسوف تكون مفاجئة بشكل إيجابي جدا للسعوديين وأيضا للعالم شكرا دولتكم. Riyadh taking its place and developing an economy the size that we're talking about here is an opportunity for everyone. Uh, and now we have this very, you know, interesting opportunity to try to build the future on our planet. Human contact, the social networking, the direct mentoring, all of the nice things that you get from being around others will be, is an essential part of our future. AI, it's, it's, it's the start uh, of a powerful new technology basically help the Saudi corporates to understand how do they meet the ESG um, requirements mm -hmm. to be reported. We were able to work with all our partners in the G20 to uh, 
overcome the impact of the uh, COVID-19. Uh, we need more coordination, we need to put more money on innovation, and we have to think about the future, even if we are still facing the consequences of the health crisis. The model of Saudi Arabia where we are today is instructive. We basically have to learn. I think we are learning every month, every week, how to cope and change and, and be able to cope with it and move forward. But in general, I'm very optimistic. I think we all have a responsibility to contribute and make sure the vaccine distributions. Debt relief is something we've worked on very significantly at the World Bank. I think nations in this pandemic came together to find solutions. Please invest in bridging the digital divide and helping to ensure that the young people of the future have the opportunities of those of the past. We approve medicine and new basically kind of like delivery methods to really drive innovation forward. I'm very happy that today, as you said, we entered into uh, uh, this arrangement. And doing it right, and so far I've been very impressed with the, the leadership of, uh, of, of the different groups that are, that are working to develop these areas. Digital technology, uh, um, data is the, the new field. In fact, we are even more encouraged to invest in this environment. COVID has highlighted the urgent need for us to collectively reassess and reevaluate our relationship with the planet and with one another. It's a great period to try to create totally a new world, but we need to combine together the day-by-day -day strategy. Against coronavirus, there are vaccines. Against climate warming, there is no vaccine, but there is one antidote, the complete full global, precise implementation of the Paris Agreement 2021 will be decisive and it depends on all of us. Thank you so much for joining us for the past two days. We promise you this is not just the beginning and we want to see you again, all of you, in October for the fifth edition of FII. Thank you so much.